hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Christina thank you guys for watching like and sharing and subscribing um thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh, for those of you who are waking in or trying to awaken or trying to just ascend or anything that you're trying to do to connect with your higher self and, and anchor and maybe higher timelines and anchor in the new earth and all that good stuff and working on the planetary grids and all the beautiful things you do I wanted to talk to you guys about something called um, transhumanization okay transhumanization um transhumanization is very big and it's very ancient and i did not even know this um you could be dating so for an example you could be dating somebody you can be dating someone and you feel like they are robotic or you feel like they're very hard that's your higher self that's your discernment kicking in telling you something is wrong there are a lot of hybrids there are a lot of hybrid humans that are in existence right now um, there are, there are ancient people who have come from families who are hybrids. Okay. Some of us are hybrids. Uh, and so we have to clear that and we have to break, you know, we have to cancel those contracts and we have to, um, heal those parts of our, um, lineage and in, in our bloodline and that curse and that hex and that, and that seagull, you have to heal that. But if you are dating somebody, if you are dating somebody and they seem kind of hard and you can't get through to them. And they seem very mechanical, very, you know, you know how humans are like, look at me, like I'm, I'm very, you know, emotional, I'm very joyful, I'm just natural here, animated, a little bit animated, but controlled. If you're dating somebody and they seem like they have no emotions, they can definitely, most definitely, okay, they could definitely be one, okay, definitely be transhumanized and guess what this happens to us and we don't even know because guess what we're dead sleeping we're so focused on the physical world that they inject us with all kind of stuff and they put these inserts in our system and we we handshake and we agree with them and then we don't know what they are in our dreams and they masquerade around and we accept the invitation and we accept the energy we accept the energy so we there's energy exchange you know when you accept energy there's an energy exchange and then before you know it you're a transhuman you've been transhumanized okay these are all soul capturing techniques these are all soul capturing techniques to transhumanize the humans to turn the humans into robots to turn the humans into um to turn the humans into um, mind control quantum computers quantum supercomputers so that they can run all types of stuff in the gal in the universe they can when you've been captured and you've been turned into a robot you can they can program you to do just about anything just like when you see those jihadis and they're sending their kids and they're on the airplanes and stuff like that when you have when you have been hijacked when you're when your mind has been taking over or when you're in deep state or or when you've been, you know, when you're in am and in an amnesia, deep state of sleep, you are so easily controlled. And when you are controlled by these quantum computers, you go around and you try to capture other people's too. You try to capture other people's um, bio monad computer. We have a monad computer. We have a natural monad computer that controls our central nerve system and it helps us to move fluidly. But the uh, but the um. The transhumanized robot is like a control, it's like a control technique, okay? They control your central nervous system, they control your medulla obligata, they control your penile gland, they control your respiratory system, your endocrine system, they control your they control your ligaments, you know, they control your ligaments, they control your mind. Now, if they control your mind, they control the rest of your body. If they control your mind, they control every other respiratory system, your bone system, your cellular system, your etheric system, your astral system, your radial body, natal body, angelic body, light body, markaba body, diamond sun body. All they control all of you. If you are and if you are dating somebody and you notice you have changed. Okay, if you notice you have changed or if you notice your kids have changed, more than likely they have been transhumanized while they were with you or prior to you and you don't know. So you also have to be careful who you marry, guys. You have to very, very much be careful who you marry and who you date, okay? A lot of people are synthetic operators. A lot of this world are a lot of uh, synthetic operators. A lot of these people are what they are called background people. They're, they have no identity. They're just robots. They're capped. You know, they are robots. They're computers. They are transhuman. They have been transhumanized. They have been programmed to do certain things and facilitate certain things in this earth. So it's very important for you to know who everybody is. Everybody in this world is an agent. Everybody in the world is a portal. Everybody in the world is a hub. 
What kind of hub are you? What kind of portal are you? I am a safe hub. I am a safe agent. My area is a safe place for you. I am a safe agent. This is safe. This is a safe environment. I have created a safe environment for the people that I interact with, for the people that I interface with. Some people don't even know. A lot of people on social media, oh God, you have to be careful on social media. A lot of social media people don't even know that they're, um, that they've been captured. A lot of people on social media don't know that they've been captured. If you are, okay, if you're experiencing symptoms of heaviness, okay, if you're feeling very heavy, okay, think about what does, um, transhumanization means think about um a railroad think about the tracks think about metals think about those type of heavy art machineries that is what being transhumanized feels like okay you feel extremely heavy okay if you are a light worker you are not supposed to be heavy unless you're working with the grids and you're clearing these energies like if you are a grid worker and you work with the galactic grids because remember we are the grids we are the universe you are the universe. So whatever you allow in your space and your energy is going to create ley lines. It's going to create horizontal lines. It's going to create horizontal, vertical, diagonal lines. It's going to create lines. It's going to, this is going to be what you're operating from. So if you allow those, um, heavy energies in, it's going to be in your aura field. It's going to become your universe. So you have to keep your universe sacred. You have to keep your universe, your grids, your ley lines, your girl points, all of that. You have to keep it clean and sacred. Be careful of what you allow in your energy. Be very careful what you allow in your energy, okay? So if you, like I said, if you're feeling very heavy, feeling unbalanced, okay, feeling unbalanced, feeling very heavy, like, like, you know, just unbalanced and very heavy. Like I know that I'm a galactic warrior. When you, sometimes when I do videos, you're going to, I'm going to feel differently because I am, I, I do clear the grids. I do a lot of stuff. I'm awakened. So a lot of times when I go into new environments, I'm going to pick up all of the different entities or energies that are in that environment and I have to create a shield I have to create a portal to trans to transition all of these dead light energies these dead light bodies these biomechanical energies I have to do all of those things because I know that this is here I know that my and I can hear you know if you're connected to your if you're connected to your guardians you can hear you can feel they'll let you know if you if you're busy if you're busy, you know, sometimes we get caught up and we're busy. If, if you're busy, we get caught up and like, what are you feeling? Do you feel normal? That, that's what I've been, that's that's exactly the sounds that I've been hearing. Do you feel normal? And that's their, that's their red flag to me that something isn't right. Something needs to be cleared. Something needs to be addressed. And normally I'm like stuck. They're kind of like, hold me in position. And so I answer their call. So, um. So yeah, so I deal with every every type of energy. There's a lot of type of energy. So if you're feeling heavy, if somebody feels very heavy, like they feel very bound and very tight, they look very bound. I mean, like, you know, think about what metal looks like. When you think about transhumanization, transhumanization is basically turning somebody into a railroad track, okay, into a railroad track, okay? You're turning them into half men, half beast. Okay, that's basically what transhumanization is. Half man, half beast, half machine, half man, half half beast machine. So if you're feeling, and you're literally, you've literally inject, ingested and been injected with um, biomechanicals to be turned into a, by a transhuman. So you have to be very careful, clear, keep your energy clear, um, be discerning, clear it out of, if you, if you know somebody that has it, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. They can watch my video. This is why I do this so that you can know so that we could take back authority over this earth because they want to keep this earth as a prison planet. They want to keep this earth as a dark portal. They want to keep this earth as, as a playground. You know, they, they look at us as playgrounds. They look at our aura as playgrounds. So we're going to drop this in there. We're going to drop gentrification. We're going to drop transhumanization. We're going to drop confusion. We're going to drop this. We're going to drop all these things to change the d divine blueprint of humanity. We're going to drop all these type of confusing energies and all these type of confusing entities and all of these, all of this confusion. We're just going to drop into these humans because we're not paying attention. You know, we're not paying attention. We're not, awo we're not awake and we, we're, we feel like spirituality is not important. Guess what? Spirituality is the most important thing because guess what? You're going to have to come back. If you don't learn your lessons, if you don't wake up now, you want to come back and then you're going to have to wake up eventually. The whole point of you being here is to learn the lessons that you didn't learn in a previous, in a previous cycle. So you have to, you have to figure out the game of life. You have to figure out this game. Okay. So if you're, like I said, if they're heavy and if you can't get through to them, if there's like a blockage, you'll feel like a blockage. 
Okay, they'll, it'll be like some energy. It'll feel like a blockage. You, you can't talk to them like... You can't talk to them. You know, you just can't talk to them. Some people you just can't talk to. They have a rebuttal for everything. Or you just feel like they're just so hard. Or they acting very hard. Or they're projecting hardness. It's because they've been transhumanized, okay? They have been transhumanized, okay? So if you're dating somebody and, they, and they're just always very hard. He won't give in. She won't give in. She's very concrete. They feel very concrete. Sometimes you can look in people's eyes and you can see they're very hollow. I have, I, I know some people and I won't really say any name, but I, I look at some people and I'm, I know them personally and you can look at their eyes and you can see it's empty. They've been abducted. They've been transhumanized. Okay. There's no light in them. I have makeup on, but even if I didn't have my makeup on, I have on tons of highlighter. Yes, I do. And the sun is blazing on me. But even if I didn't, you can, you cannot fake light in your eyes. It's either you have light in your eyes and it's either there's something in there. It's either there's matter. It's either there's the four elements of man in you or the four elements of man are not in you. It's either you have the four elements of man or you don't. It's either you have the, the five platonic solids or you don't. It's either you have the tree of life or you don't. You either have the flower of life or you don't. So it is. this is what it is. Some people, you could look in them and you can see that they're empty. They're soulless. Okay, these are soulless beings. They're soulless. They, they've they been captured. Now, not, like I said, I did a video on cyborgs. There are something called cyborgs. Okay, but if some people have just been transhumanized, they're half breed. They're hybrids. Okay, so they could be a hybrid. Not everybody is to the point of a cyborg where they're in, where they're um, not capable of being helped. But if you are dating somebody and they seem very hard to get through, more than likely, they are a hybrid. They have been um, transhumanized. Okay, um, if they seem very tough, if they're very brutal, very very beasty like very beasty like very violent very all of those things these are very obvious indicators that something isn't right should be very obvious to us but um sometimes we let things go because we've been so conditioned we our mind have been so um conditioned to just accept these behaviors but these behaviors are absolutely not normal they're absolutely not normal these like bestialities violent behaviors these are not normal these are definitely some type of transhumanization has happened some type of abduction has happened um some type of um genetic mutation has happened and maybe um, maybe it has been passed down from generation to generation. Okay, this could be a generational blood um, curse that has happened and you just have to clear it. You have to clear it. Okay, you have to know what it is. You cannot be free from something if you don't know what the hell it is. You can't identify something. You can't cure it. You know, if you can't identify what is in the, what energetically is happening, you can't cure it. So um, this is what I have for you about the transhumanization. It's very rampant. And you know what? To be honest with you, people are being transhumanized in the government as well. They're just being transhumanized just for the hell of it. Okay. They, they're they being they're being transhumanized because for one, some of them, um, I don't necessarily think it is a part of their job. Um, and if it is a part of their job, it is not being explained to them properly. Okay. It is definitely not being explained to them properly. It's like the fine print is not being told to them. Um, some, some of the forces that we have definitely are being, um, transhumanized and hybridized. Okay. They're definitely being mutated. Their DNA structure is being mutated. Their, um, their human architecture, we have a human architecture type. Their human architecture type has been genetically modified. They have been genetically modified in some shape or form. So they are no longer fully de uh, humanized. They are, they are definitely not fully humanized. They definitely have done stuff. And sometimes they don't even know that stuff has been done to them. Okay, some this is how evil, you know, I hate to I hate to be a light worker and a star seed and say how evil this world is, but to to be honest, if if you're not just if you're not honest with yourself, you know, you can't free yourself and you damn sure can't free anybody else, but this it's, it's very ugly. Uh, there's a lot of people that just want to control. There's a lot of people who have a lot of personal agendas. There are a lot of controllers in this world who just have a lot of personal. Uh, there's a lot of personal agendas. So you have to have your connection with your eternal God self. Okay. You have to connect with your eternal God self. All 12 of your multidimensional selves has to connect to your God self. You just have to be connected to your God self. Okay. Not that you're going to be perfect. 
but it's, you're running on pureness, you're running on high vibration, and you're running on truth. You're running on pureness, truth, and connecting to your eternal self. You really cannot go wrong when you are doing those things. You will always be guided. You will always have your guardians there that's going to connect to you if if your intentions are pure, if your energies are pure, if you're willing to hear, okay, if you're willing to hear the truth, if you're willing to see the truth about your er the error of your ways, if you're, if you're willing to see the error of your ways, then you most definitely will always be guided on the correct path, okay, so this is the, um, this is the message I have for you, yes, so, um, I know I'm going all over, but it's, it's like so many messages, so yes, yeah, so a lot of, you know, some of these government officials, unfortunately, they have been damaged, Okay, let's just be honest. They've been damaged some knowingly, some unknowingly. Sometimes things happen knowingly and sometimes things happen unknowingly. Sometimes we sign up for packages and we have no idea what we're signing for. Sometimes we do that. Sometimes we have a friend that comes over and they're sleeping over and they get a package that you just signed for. You don't even know what you're signing for. Okay, it happens. It happens energetically. So we have to be very careful. Sometimes we have friends, family members that sign up for stuff that they have they have no idea they have no idea what they're getting into. Sometimes some of us have to get them out of it. So yeah, so a lot of people have been genetically modified, genetically also you know, I'm pretty sure all of us have been at some point in time, but this is why the guardians are here. This is why we wake up to realize, okay, this is not how the civilization is supposed to be. This is not the divine plan for humanity. This is not what we want for humanity. These are suppressors. All of these tactics are consciousness suppressors, spirit, soul, mind suppressors to keep you running on this 3D frequency, these low, these low frequencies, and to keep you from ascending and to keep the planet from its evolution. You're supposed to evolve as, as a human. You're supposed to evolve out of reincarnation phase. You're supposed to evolve out of the reincarnation phase. You're supposed to evolve to your next level. Okay, there are levels for you to ascend to. There are levels for you to go to. There's work for you to do astrally. Um, spiritually, there's just work for you to do. There's just other things for you to get to. You have to evolve. Okay. So the plan is to just basically derail your involve involvement. So this is the message I have for you guys. Please do like, share, and subscribe. Please do comment and let me know if the message resonates. Please do know that my, ener my energy exchange with you is a safe energy um, exchange. And if I pick up anything in your energy, it'll automatically be cleared. And if you connect with me, you'll automatically possibly be wake. You'll probably be woken up. I do. I do. And please believe that these YouTube channels, Facebook, all social media is monitored for um for biological harvesting. Also, everything that we talk about, all of the all of the um, groups that we talk about, there's definitely monitoring in these groups. There's agents there that want, that monitor the group. There's agents that work for each and every social media platform. So you just have to definitely be very careful. And very and shield yourself. Check what you watch. Make sure that you're interacting with somebody who shows human, human, human qualities. Okay, you have to be very careful. And there's some people that are, um, some people that just, um, that capture you, that siphon your energy, and just do exactly what you do. So you just have to be make sure that it's an equal exchange, even exchange. Okay, that way you can move up on the different scales of life, and you can move out of certain, certain octaves and frequencies. So this is a message I have for you guys. I know it was a handful, it was a mouthful. Um, I just wanted to get this transhumanization message out because it is definitely a new world order. Okay, it is definitely a new world ancient order. You know, this has been around for a long time. High breeding has been around for a long time. You know, high breeding has been around for a long time. It comes in different faces. It comes with a different look. But hybridization has definitely been around for a long time. Um transhumanizing has been around for a long time as well all of these things are not new to humanity um you know we have to wake up do our homework and do our research and definitely know who we are or we're always going to be told who we are how to behave how to act how we're supposed to look how we're supposed to dress how we're supposed to talk where we're supposed to go and how we're supposed to think how we're how our nervous system is supposed to be how our bone system is going to be how our skin system is supposed to be how our livers and kidneys and medulla oblongata and penile glands and hypothymus and endocrine system and root chakra and if we don't tell our body what to do it'll have somebody else tell it what to do and this is what i always say you have to instruct all parts of your life all parts of you all even your skin your skin you have to instruct your skin your bone your livers your kidneys your endocrine you have to control everything you have to so this is the message i have for you please do like share and subscribe and thank you guys for watching